Huh, that was fun. Doesn't matter, because we're gonna glue over the whole thing. Okay, now this, we know it might just break because it's such an old piece of paper. Oh, well, didn't break. Shocking. I've had that happen before where I'm working with a book that's so old that I just fold the paper and crack. It just breaks right in half. Wow, it's tougher than you think. It's because it's math. Math is hard. Ha ha ha. Math is tough. There we go. Uh-oh. We didn't quite stick on that one. There, we're going to smoosh you down. We want you to stay on that little piece right there. We didn't use our bone folder, but it didn't really, because this is, magazine paper is notorious for wrinkling because it's super thin. And just going to go over that since this is a book paper, it's not wrinkling quite as much, if at all. Okay, I'm trying. I'm sure we're on to part two now. So welcome to part two. <laughs> Hopefully you watched part one, um, but we're making a manila folder uh, card, tuck, foldable. I don't know how a name for it yet. <laughs> manila folder, tuckable card. Manila folder, this is how I just smoosh things down. Use my finger. Roll it over, roll it over. What should we call this? Maybe waterfall's a good name. Manila folder waterfall tuck. I like that. Okay, so this could be the complicated part. How are we gonna get that? Well, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to wipe off our table because we have glue on it, of course. And we're gonna take our knife, which I threw to the wind and now I can't find, there it is. And we're going to just very carefully trace around the edge. So much more fun using the sharpener. The sharpener. What's that thing? What's that thing called? Sanding block. But this will work better, just because we want to get her done. And there we go. Now we can go in there with Mr. Sanding block and kind of smooth it out. Okay, so look at that. We've got the whole outside already done. Outside slash inside. There's that one. And now let's put our flowers on there. Or our flowers. These are now called flowers. <laughs> they're not, they're butterflies. And this is just a print that I did. So let's see, we want, now I do want to cut it. Do I want to cut it sharp or do I want to tear it? I think we're going to tear. Excuse us. We're going to be tearing here and I have this handy dandy little we are tear guide it has all kinds of little tears but this is the one I use the most and we just put it down do I want any margin little tiny margin excuse me go from the top please tear we'll save that paper because you know what we can make is a little notepad for inside and we're tearing oh I have to think about something height Let's, let's confirm our height before we just tear all random and willy-nilly. Okay, we're going to tear right at the top of the Roman numeral. Right at the top of the Roman numeral. Oh, I didn't tear that straight at all. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So, we will. Let's try a little bit better. So, we're going to use our grid on our craft mat to make the paper bottom straight and then we want right at the bottom of the butterfly so we're going to scooch it up to right there a little bit more a little more excuse us oh my gosh if we would put our things away let's put our knife away I don't have a cover for it I use it too much I know I know I know oh we're right on the edge there That'll work good though. Oh, but now this side needs just a little bit of a tear so it matches. Do, 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 right, right, right about there. And this one, I do definitely want to get a tear on it. So I'm not going to use my knife. We're going to pray that it pulls and doesn't 
the beads of pain. I have to go really slow. If you go really slow, you have success. Ta-da! Now, before we lay this down, good Lord, we have issues. I better put, let me show you this. I have right here beside me at all times, a little jar that I keep this little half of a lid on, I call it. We're gonna just stick our glue brush in there and give it a couple smooshes to kind of work the glue out of it. And then, excuse me, scrap a ruse. Everybody get off of my drawing pad. We're gonna scoot everybody over. And up here, oh, you probably can't see it. Here, I have this pile. It just gets increasingly bigger of paper towels and, oops, baby wipes and insides of napkins um, that I didn't use for decoupaging and I just wipe it on there. It just keeps growing. Eventually I'll get tired of it and throw it away and start fresh. But that's right there. I just didn't want my glue brush to get hard so now I'm just gonna set that there. Okay, back to where we were. Somewhere here I have Mr. Distress Ink. What are we gonna use? Vintage photo. Yeah. Vintage photo. I like vintage photo. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Okay. And we're just going to daub it. Ink it up. Ink it up just to make it look old. And I am all about cheap and easy. And so I don't have a clue where I got this. Uh, I don't know if I photocopied it or printed it off something. I have no clue. I just have it. <laughs> I'm always looking online for things. And when I see something I like, I have a folder on my computer. I just save things to and that's pretty good. Don't need to do the back. Everybody, oh my gracious gravy. Okay, so we've got this. We're gonna stick that there and we're gluing. Now see this, I could use a glue stick. Yeah, why not just keep going the way we're going. I love matte medium. I use it all the time. It's just so versatile. And it also, like I said, we're going to use it to knock back the sheen a little bit. Works really good for that. Okay, so much for my clean paintbrush. I almost called it a toothbrush. Okay. And we're eyeballing and we're down. Okay. And, ew, let's get a baby wipe. I always have baby wipe on hand because I have this OCD thing. Even though I get my fingers filthy and dirty most every day, I can't stand it. <laughs> so if, as long as I have a baby wipe, I, and I usually wear my apron, and I don't even have my apron on today. Oh well. Okay, so look at that. There we are. How are we doing? Well, we got 15 more minutes to do the other half. Okay, so I think we're gonna use that botanical page because this is the inside. So where you're on the, excuse me, on the inside, that's where you can use a page that's all like this. And so think about it this way. What we're gonna do, I am gonna use it from here, from this crease, that's the first crease, down to wherever it goes and wherever it ends is okay we're going to just cover that with a tuck okay so this is just standard eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper okay i printed this off of the internet and we are going to move our tearing ruler and put it away on its hook <gasps> gasp we actually put something away and get our glue card i don't know why you can tell i have glued on this craft mat multiple times. Whatever. 
All right, but it's we're just trying to be official here, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna start with the top and glue all the way down to the bottom because we're gonna stick the page on and then get it off, tear the edges like we did before. And I'm not sure why I'm doing it without doing it from the top top, but that's just the way my brain did it. I don't know why. My brain just said that's as far as we're going. We're going to do these bottom thirds. Maybe the top part's going to have another book page on it. Not sure we're going to use the arithmetic book, though. Arithmetic is hard. Okay. I'm not sure how far down we go, so we're just going to go a little farther than we think we might need. And we get this really good and gluey. Okay, and I'm going to fold that under now that I've glued it. Good job. Don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Here, in fact, what we're going to do, take our baby wipe so I can lay it down upside down without sticking. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, now grab our beautimus thing. And we don't want that. I should really trim it off so I don't have to think about it. Let's do that. No, because I want to have it to fold over. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go for it. We are just being brave this juncture. Using the light again to try to get it straight. <laughs> like that'll ever happen. And pull it from the bottom. Oh, come work with me now. Work with me. Now get the brayer. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Rub it, rub it, rub it. And that didn't go down near as far as I thought, but that's okay. We can we can do a, a pretty good sized um, tuck right there. It'll be just fine. It'll cover it right up. Okay. So see, we just killed one, two, three birds with one stone. <gasps> I don't kill birdies. I love birdies. And guess what? We're gonna have some nice little scrappy doos here. Yes, we are. And uh, see how straight I went? Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> hey, when you're in a hurry, when you're working against the clock, actually, I'm not working against the clock. See, I'm working against the glue. And my glue dried up here. Oh, look what I've done. Look now, look what I've done. I've glued on the glat on the mat. It's all good. It's all good. I am such a thrifty little girl, too. We're going to take our finger and rub that glue right back off in there. <laughs> okay. Could you please just stick on there this time? Thank you. I really appreciate that. Here's the baby wipe. Why well, don't trust myself, you know? Okay. Glue on the fingers. Baby wipe it off. These are all tricks. These are all things you need to watch and learn. Okay, now sit. And we are going to da, da, da. I couldn't think of the word. What is the word? Sand. Sanding block. Part of the reason I don't like to use the knife on this part, I really do like using the sanding block, is because it sort of leaves it um, just a little bit ragged, but it gets right up there against the file, the edge, and it just works so nicely. Ta-da! Okay, now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and leave that on there like that and let it stay. I could, um, because I'm going to cover it with something else, but you know, that's not happening right now. We're going to, we're going to do this. I want to make sure we have plenty of room to add our tucks and that's why I add three rounds of string around the outside too is because these things may get pretty fat the more you fill them the fatter they get just like me oh, 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 oh. bone folder have an issue right here didn't flatten her out. This is just regular copy paper, so 
You would never know, though, that it's not an old book page, would you? No, you would not. At least I wouldn't. I ain't that smart. Okay. We can go back and fix anything, any lifties. We'll fix those in a bit. Crease. The crease just kind of helps, I think, to start it out. Oh, what happened there? Oh, we're lifting. Okay, fine. Well, you'll get glued, don't you? You're not going to get away with that. Good okay. more sanding. Good more sanding. I wonder if my animals think I'm crazy. They say, who are you talking to? Talking to nobody on YouTube. Early. Okay, I have 12 subscribers, so someday maybe I'll have, you know, 45 subscribers, and it'll be like a crowd, and I'll feel all happy. <laughs> okay, maybe not. All right, put you guys in the scrap drawer, although, don't think I'll ever use that one. That one, look at that, I put it in the, in the, in the rubbish, in the bin, it's in the bin. That one went in the scrap drawer. I try to maintain my, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get our, I've lost it. There it is. Just for this one corner. Cause I'm feeling like I don't wanna get the glue everywhere, which I will anyway, but that will art glitter glue. Yay, it works really good. Okay, so look at that. That's pretty good, huh? I like that. That turned out pretty nice. Lee. Nicely. My mother would be having a cow. Grammarian here. Okay, I've forgotten. How do we fold? Uh, uh, where are we? Oh, we're lost. This is one we're going to fold. Oh, boy, I hope we're doing this right. Yes, we are. Okay, good. Refolding, refolding. Because that paper on the inside is pretty stiff. Refolding, recreasing. Don't worry, it's okay. We're gonna take care of all of that. So now, see, 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 see. We only have this one last one. And because I can't remember what I was just setting out to do, it goes like this. Okay, we have one more page to do. One more, and we're going to start with a book page. What kind of book do we want to use? What kind of book? What kind of book? What kind of book? Mm. I've got all these book pages. Oh, I know somewhere around here. No, I have a book. Panic of 89. No, I don't want that one. What's this one? French. That works beautifully. I don't know where I got that. It's a book of French. Okay. So, we're going to set her down. Glue card. You're up. Oops, 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 look, we left our pin out. I do that all the time. <gasps> I'm getting old, I can't see. Okay, I don't know why I put the cap back on, but I always do. Maybe it's so I know where it is. Okay, so now we're going to do our last base picture. Let's get a good amount of glue on it. And like, remember, don't forget that it's okay to go over the other piece because we'll eventually, we'll go over the whole thing anyway. Okay, so let us tear the bottom off. I should do this before I glue. Do this before you glue. Do this before you glue. Didn't hang my ruler up, did I? No, I did not. 
Okay. Come on, come on. Scoochy scooch. There you go. Okay. We're getting there. This might be another, this might be a three-parter. Gracious gravy. Am I that slow? Well, we've still got a few minutes left. Okay. There's my workout for the day right there. I did it. Who works out? Do you people work out? I don't work out. I got no energy for working out. I'm old. I'm old, decrepit, cranky, <laughs> tired. What else? Achy. Working out is so pandemic. So pre-pandemic. <laughs> so pre, my son would say Rona. So pre-Rona, mom. We don't do that. My son doesn't say that. My son's cool. He's a good boy. Although he is a chef. And let me tell you what. Now it's not a good time to be a chef. Because his restaurant, the owner has decided to call it quits. They had three very successful restaurants in Boulder. All three closed forever. Sad, sad, sad. Okay, we're almost there. We're getting there, people. La Etranger. I bet that means the stranger. I don't know. I just think. That's my French friend. Mary Jo, what does that say? Mary Jo, if you're on here and you watch this, you get extra points for friendship. And you can tell me what that says. Okay. So now we're going to go just around the corner. Okay. Just kind of fussing with it to get all done. But look at that. We're, pre we're pretty much done with the entire outer body. All we have left. This looks kind of awkward, I know, because we don't have our tuck there. But it will be fine. I promise. Fold. 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 Now, you might be saying, oh, I just broke a nail. No, you might not be saying that. But this is kind of boring. Yes, I concur. So what we're going to do... I just printed off a bunch of fun little stickers. So I think I'm going to, do I want to put a sticker on here or do I want to stencil it? I think I want to stencil it. So let's grab a stencil. We're just going to reach in, okay? This is the magic way to get a stencil that you never know what you're going to get. Okay, that's, that's the winner right there. And... Let's use Evergreen Val. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just decided that Evergreen Val would be good because we're kind of on a nature theme right here. Evergreen Val. Let's hope it works. Some of these stencils are pretty snickety. So I like to go in little circles. Doesn't that be perfect? We just want to get the idea of a stencil. Idea of an image. Hardest part for me is holding it still and not tweaking up my stencil. I've done that. I have some stencils that are so darn fragile, they just tweak and I ruin them. Well, <laughs> I still use it, but you know, I flipped it, I did a bad thing. They have these fine little cutouts. I don't know why I'm caring about the bottom because the bottom's going to be covered up with a tuck. A little bit more inkaroo. Okay. And there we go. That turned out pretty, pretty, pretty. And I know, I know. I actually try to keep my stencils clean by using my wet wipe right after. 
obviously the last time I used it, I wasn't so um, diligent, but actually over time, it just kind of gets that way. Okay, fine. There we go. Okay, putting the stencil back in the stencil folder. That looks kind of cool, huh? Okay, so now we're working on decorating. This is the fun part. So the very first thing I like to do, how much time do we have? Oh, we're gonna be rolling over again. We're working on part three, coming up to part three. It's exciting. Okay, let's distress the whole darn boodle. So let's put evergreen bow away. And here's my, I don't know if you caught my, oh, I need to rewrite it. B-O-U-G-H, like I'm gonna forget. <laughs> but I made these on one of my videos, how to make these daubers. Simple Simon, cheap and easy. Okay, so let's use this vintage photo. I'm not one of those ones that's lucky enough to have every color known to man of these, what are they? Tim Holtz Distress Inks by Ranger Acid Free. I just have five, maybe four colors and it seems to do me pretty well. And you know what? You can use paint, you can use your finger and use anything you've got and it's gonna make it look just fine. I like to sometimes use acrylic paint. In fact, I have two, three, just sitting right here that are typical colors that I don't have. And then we're gonna fold back the edge. Now this is why it's okay if you messed up and you didn't quite get the, of course, yes, I know, I'm gonna cover it, but you know, when you're OCD and these things matter, these things matter, okay? So we're just gonna go with it. Gee. Now the one thing I will say is I'm inking before I go over the entire thing again with the matte medium, and that's okay. Um, if I let the ink dry, this ink, for even just a few minutes, it, it should be fine. And also, the worst case scenario, I do wanna get the edge of the whole thing, so. The worst case scenario is it might smear a little bit and just move it around, so that's okay. We can go with that, that's just fine. I don't know why I like these little owl ears. That just reminds me of two little owl ears sticking up. Okay, we don't know where my brain is, but that's all right. Fold. And you could do different colors for each page if you want, but I'm trying to be uniform, but also, I don't know, I just like this one. <laughs> and what did I do on the other one? I think I did the same thing. Although I think one page I had, I used Broken China. I have the I have the four food groups. <laughs> food groups. No. Primary colors. Red, yellow, blue, and green. I have and brown. I love brown. A lot of people don't like brown, but brown has always been one of my favorite colors. When I was a kid and I'd be coloring with my crayons, always for some reason, always loved the brown. Okay, so we've got a little lifted here, so it's okay. We're going to just kind of stick our little doohickam in there. Oh, we got a lot of liftage, but that's why I like this super fine point. Hey, open yourself back up to me. There we go. We're just gonna glue it back down. Am I on? Sorry, and I think I have a shadow. Oh well. We're low tech here, people. We're not we're not the big biz. We're not the big wigs. If you tell your two friends about me and they tell two friends and they tell two friends and everybody likes and subscribes and then maybe I can afford to get some decent lighting, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think that will ever happen. <laughs> okay, where were we? We were putting our needle back in there, our pin. We're checking it. That looks pretty good. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. And we're back to the inking. Uh oh. It's Friday. It means I have to get my trash bins out to the coib. I hear my neighbors doing theirs right now. That's what made me think about it. My sweet neighbors. Ugh, I'm having a difficult time figuring out. Um, I am a night owl and I have the craziest of sleep hours. And my neighbors are so, so sweet. I love my neighbors so much. Every week I'll put my trash bins out, but they always put them up for me. Now, maybe it's because, oh, look at that. Got a little see-throughage there. Went a little crazy on the filing. That's okay. We can fix that. There ain't nothing we can't fix or work around or fabricate some better idea for or something. Right? What's with you, little cornery? I thought we already re-glued you once. We're going to re-glue you now for sure. Okay. Pretend in my head that we're putting the cat back on, putting the pin back in. That's such a pain. I don't feel like doing it right now. I'm going to be rebellious. I want to get this done. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, Roo. Needs a little more on this one. I don't even know if I did that one. I don't think I did. For the love of everybody, I think I did the outside, but I clearly did not do the inside. <gasps> Gasp. I already have an idea for what to do with that little opening. Not the, I don't think the opening is going to really be a problem where I kind of tore it. I don't know if it was from sanding it or why it split like that. One never knows. But we're going to put a tuck over it. And we don't want it to fall apart. So that's one thing. Ah, allergies. You can go away any day. Any day. Any day now. I wonder where that is. Paper, paper lanterns. Lanterns. I don't think they're balloons. They're paper lanterns. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. We may be rolling over to part three. Oh, um, yep. We're moving along to part three here. So if you're just joining us, part three of making one of these little lovely deals. Okay, so now we're gonna start with that one. And what do we wanna put there? Do we, you can do anything. You could put a belly band there. You could put a, let's use our sample. Now that I've got myself all tucked up. Let's see what we did on the other one, huh? 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 I see that little piece of washi tape. I don't think I glued it and I should have. For shame. For shame. Oh, I'm so lost. Okay, well, it's, it looks cute, but it's kind of a pain. You go under, under, over, under, over. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. Page one was just like that. Oh, look how similar. Ha, ha, ha. On this one, I think it said, I don't remember the title of the book or whatever, and I didn't like it. And not that I don't like this one, but I'm going to go with something similar for that, where we're going to put a word in. And here's my words. Anybody can do this. I don't go pay for things, okay? So... Go on your computer and select several different fonts. In fact, 
I want to get to one of these fonts, which I do, I want the typewriter font, I'm going to use my ruler and guess what we're going to do? Easiest way to tear. So I can get to thoughts. That's the word I want. Word of the day is thoughts. I'm going to just tear that sucker out. And that way, uh, I tore off my T. Well, guess what? There's another one right above. Ha! Huh. Jelly. We're going to be a little more careful, thoughtful, as our we're tearing our word out so we don't tear our T's off. I didn't quite get it completely torn off, but you know, it's all good. Now I think we do want the contrast. So let's get our, do we want it to be the same as that? That was Evergreen Bow. No, we're gonna use this. It's on there. Just making as we go, okay, folks? We're just making as we go. And see, I don't think it's going to be big enough. Well, yeah, that would actually cover the whole word. But I kind of liked using that washi tape. It just added a little bit of pretty pretty to the back. So I think we're going to do the same thing. Get us a piece of washi tape. Which one shall we pick? Look at this, I have a dowel here in my desk drawer. So we're going to choose, I don't wanna use the same one. I think I wanna use, this one wins. And we need Mr. Glue Stick for this cause we want it to stick good. This is just a Yoohoo Glue Stick, Blue Magic. You can use whatever kind you like. You can tear it, you can cut it, but you know what? I have just got this magnificent idea. I'm going to use these cheap little Fiskars corkscrew scissors. I got in a grab bag at a thrift store and see if they will work. There's, sometimes they work and sometimes they're persnickety like that. We're gonna end up with no tape there. So this may not work for the love of Pete. Sometimes if you go closer to the edge, it works better which it did. Okay, do we want to leave it like that? Probably not. There, not ah, good enough. You get the idea. Go back on your hook. Okay. So this is the easiest way to reinforce because washi tape isn't very strong. I mean, the stick'em part. Goodbye, La Train Jer. Mary Jo, get back to me on that. We're going to do the same thing with our thoughts. We're going to stick our thoughts down. Get you in the light. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. All right. Put you back on your dowel. Now, so there's that. Let's look to our reference again. Now we need a tuck. And I have a bunch of pre-made tucks and belly bands here somewhere. Belly bands and tucks. My tucks are all kind of big. Here's one I made. Oh, that's a cute one, but obviously it will not fit for this. Let's see if we object lesson. We may be making these from scratch because these are all pretty big. More belly bands. Belly bands go in there. It's always good to have things pre-made. Yep. Well, the video just gets longer. That's all I can tell you. The video just gets longer and longer. We may be here all month. You never know. Okay, so we're going to pull out our faithful. I got this. Don't laugh at me. It was in my dog bones, <laughs> in my uh, milk bones. 
and I got the big old box from Costco. And we're just gonna make a little mark here.